Welcome to the second part of the electrochemistry. In this video, I shall be discussing about the Nernst equation and various important questions related to it. So let me begin with it. So before starting the Nernst equation, I would like you to know the fact that delta G is equal to minus n F E. What is delta G? Gives free energy. N is the number of electrons transferred. F is Faraday, and E is the potential of the cell. Okay, at any temperature or at any other condition that the question asks. Now if I take delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught. So what is delta G naught? It is a gives free energy at standard temperature pressure. So what is that? 25 degrees Celsius one atmosphere and those standard conditions. And similarly E naught is the potential of the cell at 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. So this is the basic concept. In thermodynamics we must have studied that delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln Q okay, where Q is the reaction quotient at equilibrium it becomes the equilibrium constant what is delta G? we have seen minus N F E what is delta G naught? minus N F E naught plus RT ln Q taking this to the other side so I get N F E naught minus E is equal to RT by ln q solving for the so e naught minus e we will get as rt by nf log of q into 2.303 to remove the ln i take 2.303 as the multiple so from this i get e to be taking e to this side so e naught minus rt by nf into 2.303 log of q on careful observation we get that RT by F into 2.303 will be a constant. The temperature is taken to be a constant. For example, 26 degrees. Uh, we generally take 25 degrees Celsius to be the standard temperature. So this whole value will be a constant. So I will be getting Nernst equation to be E is equal to E naught minus what I'll get 0 0.0592 by N log of Q. Okay. Now what is N here? n is the number of electrons transferred and q is the reaction quotient so this is one important equation for this chapter now let's do some important questions on it which will help in clearing the concept so let me start with a with an easy question given that we have a cell which is made up of electrons which has e naught of ag to ag plus is equal to minus 0 0.80 volts and E naught of MN of 4 minus 2 MN plus 2 is equal to 1.51 volts. They have asked us to write the Nernst equation. Nernst equation for this. So, how to begin? First of all, we must find E naught of the cell. Okay, what is E naught of a cell? E naught of a cell is equal to E naught oxidation of anode plus E naught reduction of cathode. Now what is oxidizing here? Ag is oxidizing here. So what I get minus 0 0.80 volts that is E naught of oxidation plus E naught of reduction of cathode. Now what, what, what is getting reduced here? It is clear from this equation that the oxidation state of Mn will be plus 7 here and here it is plus 2 so what is getting reduced this thing is getting reduced so this will be the cathode so it will be 1.51 volts so E naught of a cell for this cell actually I will be getting 1, 7, 0 0.71 volts now they have asked us to calculate E of the cell so first of all let's write the half cell reactions properly in terms of electrons so what is the first thing they have given that Ag goes into Ag plus plus electron I will be getting what is the second equation MnO4 minus goes into Mn plus 2 now how to balance such type of equations see here I have to add see oxygen is extra here so first of all I have to balance the oxygen by taking the equivalent amount of water 4 oxygen so I have to take 4 water because I get 4 oxygen here on the right hand side ok now next step is see we are adding extra H plus here I have added extra 8H plus on this side so I have to add also 8H plus on this side 
to balance both the equations now what is the third step what is the net charge on the left hand side see 8 into 1 minus 1 that is 7 so the net charge is plus 7 here net charge is plus 2 here so what I have, I have to add here if I add 5 electrons on this side then what is the charge I will get see 5 see 8 minus 6 that is 2 so hence our equations are balanced now see in the final reaction we never get to see the electrons so the next step will be to cancel the electrons so I have to multiply the first equation by 5 so that I get 5 electrons here also and in the second equation also now let's add both the equation so I get 5 Ag plus 8 H plus plus MnO4 minus will give me 5 Ag plus plus Mn plus 2 plus 4 H2O now such type of questions are favorite for JE because two chapters are combined here okay so now let's see this is in aqueous phase why because ions are always in aqueous phase MnO4 minus is in aqueous phase Ag plus is in aqueous phase and Mn plus 2 is in aqueous phase so what was our Nernst equation it was E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 by N 592 by N log of Q now let's substitute the values here so E will be E naught E naught we have calculated in the earlier page on the earlier page so it will be 0 0.71 minus 0 0.0592 by N now what is N here how many electrons I am getting see 5 that's why we have to take the common number of electrons if I was getting 2 here if I was getting 5 here then also we have to balance it to get the same electrons so that the electrons get cancelled in the final equation okay and electron can never be a fraction that you must remember so we have to multiply by a proper whole number so 0 0.0592 by 5 number of electrons transferred log of q now how to write q q is the same as equilibrium constant so we have to take only the aqueous one in consideration okay so what is aqueous here mn plus 2 i am just writing the k now what will be ag plus raised to power 5 okay upon mn of 4 minus 1 into h plus raised to power 8 so this is the nurse equation for the given question okay now next very 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 important question I am going to discuss here so calculate look uh, it is very important e naught of mn of 4 minus 1 to mn o 2 if e naught of mn of 4 minus to mn plus 2 is equal to 1.51 volts e naught of mn o 2 to mn plus 2 is equal to 1.23 volts so the question asks us to calculate the e naught of this if we have been given e naught of these two things so how to begin so whatever is given first of all write them so let us balance the first one so it is given that mn of 4 minus goes into mn plus 2 now balancing the oxygen so 4 h2o now balancing h plus plus 8 h plus now balancing the charge so I have to add 5 electrons here so I get plus 2 plus 2 on both sides so this is the first equation means this one now let's do for the second equation which is given so mno2 will give me mn plus 2 in the given question now how to balance it see oxygen is 2 so I have to add 2 H2O to balance the oxygen now let's balance the H plus because we have added it extra so I will have to add here 2 4 H plus because we are getting 4 H here now what is the next step now the next step is to balance the charge so I am getting what is the net charge on the left hand side 4 what is the net charge on the right hand side 2 so I have to add two electrons here ok so I have written this equation now let me write the delta G for both the equations so what will be the delta G for this equation delta G1 is equal to delta G01 is equal to minus NF E0 sorry E01 why because I have been given E0 of the cell that's just a representation so it will be minus what is N N is 5 in the first equation what is F F will be F what is E1 in the first question 1.51 in the first equation now let's do for the second equation so delta G2 naught will be minus NF E2 naught 
so it will be minus of how many electrons 2 into f into 1.23 which is given to us so I have written the delta g for the both the equations now what is asked to be derived is e naught of mno4 minus to mn plus mno2 now let us write this equation first so mno4 minus 1 will give me mno2 the first task is to balance the oxygen with the help of water so I can write here 2H2O to balance them now how I have added I have added here 4H plus so I have to add here 4H plus to balance the hydrogen now let's balance the charge what is the charge on this side 4 minus 1 3 here it is 0 so I have to add 3 electrons here now what will be the delta G for this equation so delta G3 naught will be um, minus into n minus 3 into f into e naught let me take it to be e naught because this e naught has to be calculated now how to do such type of questions okay so let me do let me reverse let it be equation 1 let it be equation 2 I take out your rough copies and just reverse the equation 2 just reverse it so I will be getting from the second equation 2H2O plus Mn plus 2 will give me 2 electrons plus 4H plus plus Mn O2 if I reverse the second equation let it be third equation if I add 1 plus 3 I will be getting equation 4 which is the asked equation 1 plus 3 see 1 plus 3 add these both equations I will be getting this equation so our work is done see now I have reversed the direction for the second equation I reverse the direction so the delta G will become of opposite sign so delta G to naught will convert into 2F into 1.23 that minus sign will be multiplied by another minus sign now let's add the equations so what is first from the first energy is minus 5F into 1.51 what is the energy from the third one from the third one I will be getting plus of 2F into 1.23 now what is the fourth equation which has to be calculated is minus 3F into E0 ok cancel F from all the sides so E0 I will be getting to be 2 into 1.23 minus 5 into 1.51 upon minus 3 so this way the E0 has to be calculated for a asked question ok so I hope this video helps and if there are any doubts you can definitely ask me in the comment section thank you